English, Espanol, Vanus Enigma. Innocent Crypto Kitty. Bathroom and drama. I want to ask you something. Antes de empezar con ese drama de los baños, quiero preguntarte algo. 16-04-24 Once again, I can't sleep thinking about so many things. Otra vez no puedo dormir, estoy pensando sobre tantas cosas. I want to ask you who is listening to that this video uh, one question. Quiero preguntarte a ti que estás escuchando este video una pregunta. It's about the advantage of not changing the legal name es sobre la ventaja de no cambiar el nombre legal first of all remember that there are many people who are innocent but declared Guilty and sent to prison. Jane. Primero, recuerda que hay mucha gente que son inocentes, pero uh, son declarados culpables y uh, mandados a la prisión, a la cárcel, perdón. So, imagine... An FTM transman has to go to prison. Can he choose to uh, which prison he goes to, uh, men or women, or uh, does it depend on uh, which sex is written, sex gender is written in the passport and identity card, maybe? So I suspect maybe it's better to keep the female a name to go to the female prison. Así que imagina un FTM hombre transexual tiene que ir a prisión. Entonces puede elegir en dónde va presión de hombres o mujeres o tal vez depende de qué sexo genera está escrito en su carne de identidad porque en este caso es una ventaja de guardar el de no cambiar el nombre y mantener el nombre femenino. This topic is similar, like the bathroom panic epidemic, <laughs> but uh, I think much more serious. Este tema es similar al tema de los baños, ese trauma pero uh, mucho más serio este tema. That's just one curiosity. It's not that I have the, the wish or the intention to go to prison, but uh, often when you are male with all these male hormones, it happens uh, sometimes more easily that you end up in prison. No es que tenga el deseo o la intención de ir a la casa, pero um, con tantos hormonas masculinas, uh, las <laughs> es 
más riesgo de terminar en la cárcel. 16.04.24 So I've been thinking about the most important reason why I'd like to make a testosterone treatment. Si sí, estuve pensando eh, sobre la razón principal por la que me gustaría hacer este tratamiento de testosterona. Of course, this is the continuation of my last video. Es la continuación de mi último video. Mix. But some things I should repeat. Algunas cosas tengo que repetir. At the age of 12 years, I had that very dangerous anorexia. And the consequence is that I have very uh, thin hands and feet and very little fresh flesh on, on on these hands and feet and uh, and in continuation um very bad um blood circulation so it means always cold hand and feet and that has the consequence that i'm often my immune system is very low uh, very I think it's a, uh, I often have um, some kind of like a chronic uh, inflammation of the throat. Not ache, but always once per day, um, that loosens one piece. Con la edad de 12 años tuve una anorexia muy grave y la consecuencia era que mis uh, manos y pies uh, quedaron muy finos, muy poca carne en mis manos y pies y eso tiene consecuencia que siempre manos y pies fríos y mala circulación de sangre y eso tiene la consecuencia de sistema inmun bajo y eh, casi eh, crónico inflamación de garganta no dolor pero ca casi siempre una vez al día se me ah, ya ya entiendes entiendes lo que quiero decir and I've seen in videos uh, FATM that uh, even the hands and feet, even the feet uh, uh, grow, they get bigger. <laughs> it's incredible. Y he visto en estos videos de F FTM que los manos y los pies, uh, bueno, por lo menos los pies, no, los manos, uh, creo que también. Uh, todo ca uh, Aumenta de carne y músculo. And not just the hands and feet. I remember the last winter I visited my mom. I felt oh, very cold on my nose. And you can't uh, put your nose into clothes. This, this is, uh, I was all the time, I was rubbing my nose, but it was like, uh, like frozen. <laughs> y no solo manos y pies, hasta el, el último invierno cuando visité a mi madre en Alemania. También uh, me, me cabré un montón con la nariz porque no puedes poner ropa a, a la nariz. Sí, poner tal vez un poco de, de... ¿Cómo se dice? Bueno, todo... Yo estuve ahí eh, 
dando masajito a, a la nariz, pero era como que mi, mi nariz estaba súper congeladísima. Increíble. Ah, and my ears, my pork ears. <laughs> Schweine <-öhrchen. laughs> uh, Too, I, uh, on the top of my ear, I often feel cold and I give a little massage. Um, and that's why, uh, another reason why I like, uh, but the first reason I like to hide under my cap. Y también en las orejitas, eh, a menudo tengo frío y eh, doy a menudo masajito y eso también es una razón por qué me gusta llevar gorra, pero la razón tal vez principal es de que me gusta esconderme de, debajo de la gorra esconderme de, la, uh, de, de los sex monsters mi madre dice a ah, estos eh, <laughs> the Muslim sex monsters she says <laughs> so the other many reasons I've told already in my previous videos las otras razones ya he dicho en mis videos anteriores. And right now I'm watching videos about this topic of bathroom, transgender, and P in peace. <laughs> I like this hashtag P in peace. <laughs> Ahora estoy mirando videos sobre ese tema del baño eh, transgénero y hay un hashtag en inglés que me gusta mucho que es P in peace que quiere decir como eh, mear en paz. <laughs> And regarding uh, this law, this law that you have to go to that bathroom where, which um, uh, what well, the gender which is written in your passport. Uh, esta ley que dice que tienes que ir al baño um, al respeto que del sexo género que está escrito en tu carnet de identidad o pasaporte. And it seems to me that there are many people who are not aware that there are cases like me who would um, dress still like a woman but appear uh, a man remembering you that I'm born female. FTM. Y me parece que hay mucha gente que no es tan consciente que hay casos como yo que han nacido uh, femenino y, uh, y que siguen con la ropa femenina uh, pero el cuerpo masculino. <laughs> Maybe after 10 years of testosterone treatment, I convert completely into a, uh, or no, I'm not completely anyway, I think I never would do bottom surgery. It's very expensive, but um, I, well, maybe then I would like to dress as a man and uh, but then is the problem of uh, the the breast to hide the breast and uh, the top surgery is yeah it's another topic problem Tal vez después de 10 años de tratamiento de testosterona, 
voy a tener el deseo de vestirme solo masculino y, pero luego es el problema del pecho y operación y tal y de todas formas operación ahí abajo muy muy carísimo with respect to the bathroom drama I want to say a few things con respeto al drama en el tema de los paños quiero decir algunas cosas I think it would be best in the future when they make design of um, new buildings architecture uh, to just create a one big bathroom for all genders. Creo que sería lo mejor en el futuro cuando hacen el diseño para nuevos edificios, la arquitectura uh, de planear un solo uh, baño grande para todo tipo de personas de género, sexo. Consider that, uh, for example, in uh, shopping malls, uh, the mothers come with uh, their children into the women's bathroom. Children, if they are male or female, or now imagine just one young boy when he's, re he's really still very young, just the age to go alone, and um, he might be molested in, in the in the male uh, bathroom. Considera que en, por ejemplo, en centros comerciales, eh, las mujeres eh, van con sus hijos, sean eh, hijo femenina o, o masculinos, eh, todos en el baño de las mujeres, así que eh, estas eh, van a estar a veces mucho más ocupados que el baño de los hombres y también imagina que si hay un niño que es justo en la edad de eh, caminar, no, de, de salir solo de casa y, y tal vez eh, no es muy bueno, podría ser um, acosado en el baño de los hombres que hay muchos hombres que le gustan los niños jóvenes. So this topic of the bathroom is um, really not funny, but um, uh, I saw some a little bit funny videos. Uh, treating okay on one side yes not funny but on the other side uh, presented in a funny way so <laughs> I just make a screenshot of these uh, videos the preview and um, if you like watch them because in one uh, particular I really <laughs> I almost I'm almost peed in my skirt <laughs> oh, of laughing. Sí, este tema de los paños de verdad no es de risa es un problema bastante uh, pesado y um, pero también he descubierto algunos vídeos <laughs> graciosos que, que eh, voy a hacer. <laughs> Yo casi me, me meo en la falda <laughs> de reír y voy a hacer eh, um, captura de pantalla. Y si, si quieres, mira, mira esos vídeos. I like to make people laugh, I like humor, 
Uh, that's why I like very much The Simpsons. Me gusta hacer reír a la gente, el humor. Eh, eso también es una razón por la, la que me gusta mucho Los Simpsons. By the way, I have one Twitter account, Comedy Court, uh, JCCVW, um, which is abbreviation for Court Comedy and Virtual Worlds. Um, because in Simpsons there are often um, some kind of court comedies. Sí, también tengo una cuenta de Twitter con el nombre Comedy Court, J C J C C V W, -W que es abreviación por uh, Comedia de Tribunal de Justicia en Mundos Virtuales. You're welcome to follow me on Twitter. By the way, all my Twitter accounts are in the last section in YouTube and the section about. Eh, todas mis cuentas de Twitter están en la última sección de mi canal de YouTube. Y, uh, I like to explore different hashtags on these different Twitter accounts. Me gusta explorar diferentes hashtags en estas diferentes cuentas de Twitter. And in that Twitter comedy court I have that hashtag P in peace. <laughs> y en esta cuenta de Twitter, Comedy Court, uh, tengo este hashtag uh, mear en paz, pero en inglés uh, rima. P in peace. Going back to that topic of cold feet and hands. Actually, mm, the cold feet are much worse because I constantly change socks. I need to change these socks first. Maybe, okay, you walk and then uh, the, the feet got wa warm, but they sweat too. So the sweat converts into a cold sweat and uh, if the socks are wet, the, the feet doesn't get warm, it's like, oh, hell. <laughs> Volviendo al tema de los pies y manos fríos. Realmente el tema de los pies fríos es mucho peor porque siempre estoy cambiando de calcetines cuando camino, tal vez sí se, se, se calientan los pies, pero también sudan y cuando luego el, los pies eh, de la temperatura baja otra vez, luego las calcetines siguen mojados y... Mm. Ya, ya no se me calientan los pies, están y, y así, así luego cojo los resfriados y siempre hay crónico la garganta. And then this is the consequence de, de always this chronic throat infection. 160424 I changed my mind a little uh, about the topic of top surgery. He cambiado mi opinión un poquito sobre el tema de la cirugía de pecho. Meow, I think it's a good idea to remove the boobs, especially because of the risk of breast cancer. Ahora pienso que es buena idea de 
quitar el pecho por el riesgo de cáncer de mama. And second, because there's much, much discrimination against trans women and they often get arrested by the police for no reason. La segunda razón uh, porque hay mucha discriminación en contra de mujeres transexuales y que a menudo la policía los detiene por uh, razón ninguna. After my anorexia, which started at the age of 12, then later when my uh, boobs uh, finally started to grow, I was not happy with them. They were small and like hanging down. And at the age of 27, I got implants. But um, actually, I only wanted uh, them to put them higher, but uh, somehow uh, he recommended me to get implants. Después de mi anorexia que empezó a la edad de 12 años, cuando finalmente empezó a crecer mi pecho, um, yo no estaba muy feliz con mi pecho, era muy pequeño y como colgando hacia abajo. Y a la edad de 27, um, me hice una operación de pecho. Realmente quería solo ponerlo más arriba, pero él me recomendó. Eh, sí de poner estos implantes. I had several uh, little problems with these implants and um, if I move to uh, when like uh, difficult to describe um, this uh, they are a little bit strange and uh, I imagine if like a I have an accident or something and uh, this substance goes into the body, it's toxic, of course. He tenido algunos pequeños problemas con estos implantes y cuando pongo el cuerpo en cierta posición y es un poco raro uh, un poco, a veces me dolió un poco, sometimes a little bit ache, uh, not too much, but uh, así que también si, sí, por ejemplo, hay un accidente o esa sustancia tal vez entra en el cuerpo, es tóxico, claro, y por eso tal vez también, maybe, better to say goodbye to the boobs. Por eso tal vez mejor de decir adiós a los pechos. And in the breast I have one strange spot which looks like skin cancer. Y en mi pecho tengo una mancha rara que parece como cáncer de piel. But till now I was lazy to go to the doctor because I often was very depressed and I was like wishing to get to sleep in the evening and not wake up in the morning. Pero hasta ahora estuve um, um, perezosa de ir al médico. Um, a menudo estuve, a menudo, perdón, 
estuve tan deprimida o sin motivación que deseaba meterme en la cama por la noche y no despertar por la mañana. Ok, no so, uh, so very depressed to commit suicide, but I of uh, sometimes I ask myself how would I react if they tell me I have cancer. Vale, no tan eh, depresiva de cometer suicidio, pero a menudo me preguntaba si re, cómo reaccionaría si me dicen que tengo cáncer. And I told myself um, if Uh, the, I should react like, oh, keep cool, no need to commit suicide, the cancer will kill me. Problem solved. <laughs> Así que me dije de reaccionar como, ah, oh, mantén la calma, de toda forma, no necesidad de cometer suicidio, el cáncer me mata, problema resuelto. And sometimes I feel like a short a prick pain in my chest. Y a veces siento algún dolor de como pinchazo en el pecho. Now that North Carolina has passed its anti-LGBT law that not only discriminates against gay people but also forces trans individuals to use the bathrooms that are uh, identified based on their biological uh, birth, I guess. Biological birth, does that gender. make sense? Gender. gender. Okay, biological gender. Uh, My father hated the word gender. He said, say sex. That's what you mean. It, it is sex, yeah. but whenever you say it, it sounds weird, and people think it's wrong. Right. But it is sex. I, I actually am totally in favor of biological sex. Are you? It's my favorite kind of sex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a gender in your birth certificate, right? Yes. Yes. That's what we're yes. About. All right. So uh, now that North Carolina has passed its anti-LGBT law, it turns out that they haven't thought about how they're planning on enforcing rules within the law that would force transgender people to use the bathrooms based on their gender on their birth certificates, right? So Mother Jones did this great piece where they went and spoke to different members of different police departments within the state, and they found out that a lot of them have no idea what they're going to do in terms of enforcing it. Our staff, particularly our attorney's office, is trying to figure out what it all means. We haven't mobilized our police force in any kind of different way. We're still digesting. Mobilized our police force in any kind of That's good. Mobilize those cops, head into those bathrooms, make sure the right person's sitting in the right place. Thank God. Okay. So in this case, that's a, generally a good guy. He said totally. we yeah. haven't. Yeah, right? I got right. But it is, a, I thought the same exact thing. It's a hilarious thing, the idea of like, let's mobilize all the cops to hit the bathrooms and hit yeah. them hard. Who's on potty <laughs> patrol today, Bob? <laughs> a lieutenant, grab three of your best men and let's get you over to the north side of town. You've heard there's some transgenders in that area. <laughs> and I'm, I'm also amused by the last sentence. We're still digesting. Yeah. We're digesting this bathroom policy. We're trying to figure it out. It's, you know, I, I never really thought about it in this context, right? But have conservative women who are so afraid of people who were born as males coming into the women's bathroom thought about the fact that if you are a trans male, right, but you were born as a woman, right, but you look like a man, you're going to come into the women's bathroom looking like a man, okay? So what's going to happen? Right. Like, are you going to call the cops and be like, oh my God, there's a man in the bathroom and then the cop's going to come and are you supposed to show them the birth certificate to prove that you were actually born a woman? Like, they haven't really thought oh, this right. through. That's by far Honestly. the creepiest scenario. That's exactly right. Well, you see I, what wait, I'm saying? I didn't think that through. Yeah. So they're actually going to report the wrong people. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if you were born a woman, but you know, obviously you're trans and you identify as a male and you look like a male, that you go into a women's bathroom and there are a lot of women who might say like, hey, there's a dude in here with 
what's going on? This is strange. And then Are you going to call the cops? Are they going to check the genitals? Like, it's just ridiculous. No, but that's the, the hilarious and horrible part. Yes. They, they, they mobilize the cops. They send them into the bathroom. Yeah. And they go, okay, now let me find out. Oh, and you were born a woman, and so you're in the woman's bathroom. Oops. It's just needless, <laughs> you can, you uncomfortable conversations. Yeah. It's invasive. It's unnecessary. It's a violation of privacy, if you ask me. It's just stupid. It's so all, Again, all these right-wing women who are like, oh, my God, I don't want a man in the bathroom. It's going to make me so uncomfortable. You're still going to be uncomfortable. Sorry. That's exactly <laughs> right. From a practical standpoint, you're, you've solved nothing. What it is is it's a legislative uh, finger wag. Yeah. Uh, I mean, or, or worse. But uh, it, it solves nothing in terms of, uh, as a practical matter. Is that is this is a real problem we have in the country? No, it's right. It doesn't solve straight, anything. It's straight not solved because there's not an issue. There's right. not. A, it's not a thing that's happening. Yeah, is, are there straight guys pretending to be trans women who are getting dressed up in outfits and then raiding women's bathrooms? What in public to catch a glimpse of a woman before or after she enters a stall? This is a real problem in America. Yeah. This is what we're spending resources on. This it's even a more obscure notion than the sodomy laws that are still in place in some states. You know, I mean, this is this is even a, a, a it's a it's a lesser percentage than even those. You know, and even those are ridiculous. You know, these sodomy laws that, that uh, uh, have the authorities give the authorities the power to bust you for for sodomy of all kinds. So it's ridiculous. How are you going to enforce that? That again yeah. is just a legislative uh, police state move. It's it can't be enforced as a practical matter, but it was uh, originally, I think, it was an anti-gay law. It was, but, and, that's yeah. what, and this is an anti-transgender law. Uh, Mark references the sodomy laws in the South, like Bowers versus Hardwick. I think the case in Georgia, which was an anti-sodomy law, and a neighbor complained. Obviously, we presume the neighbor complained about noise, but what he didn't like, we presume, was the that he knew he had gay neighbors, and they were presumably having sex. And so the cop came in and arrested them for kick down the door or whatever. I don't know if he kicked down the door, but he arrested them because he came into the place and determined that maybe they said, yes, we were having sex. We were, were both in our 30s, and we thought mm -hmm. we could do that. Um, so it becomes incumbent, and I've always said, I've said it on the show a zillion times, like, that cop is the worst. Like, you know, because you have a choice there, right? You have, no matter what the law says, mm -hmm. cops every day allow some laws to be broken, sure. right? They yeah. don't enforce everything. You could kick down the door and go, hey, there's an anti-sodomy law in this state and your neighbor's a pain in the ass. So be quiet or he'll keep, <laughs> and your neighbor's a pain. Keep quiet if you can because he'll probably keep calling the cops and not all cops will be as good as I am. Have a nice right. day, sir. Sorry to bother yeah. you in yeah. your very private, loving moment. But of course, <laughs> <laughs> but of course, we don't want to give them that power because some will use it. In, That's right. In the wrong we want, way. As, as evidenced by the, the by the police there. By right. the way, there's a second component of this that they lawmakers in North Carolina didn't think through. So they've decided that this isn't a criminal violation. Should it occur, right. it's a civil violation. Okay. So what are the civil penalties? They don't we don't know. They we don't haven't have thought it, it through. Mm. Meh. So cops don't know what to do once they so-called bust these people using the wrong bathrooms. It's so stupid. Yeah, and that speaks to what a finger wag it is. They don't really even, they haven't really thought it all the way through. They just want to get it out there as quickly as possible. We think this is wrong. Right. So the good news is uh, it'll hardly be used because there's not a real problem in the country, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and even if they do apply the penalty, there is no penalty. Right. They forgot. No. It's not like they didn't mean to put a penalty. They just forgot to put a penalty They're on such it, right? Clowns. They're so dumb. Okay, but um, but it but it's still mission accomplished. So why you say why? What what's the mission? The mission is to appease uh, conservative voters who are right. filled with fear. That's right. right. Fear, 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 fear. And so that's the same exact reason why in Oklahoma they passed an anti-Sharia law. That's right. There's maybe three Muslims in Oklahoma. <laughs> okay. But they're convinced that the Muslims are on the precipice of taking over Tulsa, right? And so they pass a law for a problem that couldn't possibly exist. Why? Because their voters wanted it. Their voters are so scared. They're scared of the Muslims. They're scared of the gays. Oh, my God, the trans. That's an even different level than gays. I'm so scared. Please, please pass a law. And they do, and they're like, ah, oh, oh, thank God. And All right, why, I'm relieved. And that's why, again, something we talked about in the first hour, and that's why... The difference, actually, and I can't believe I'm going to praise him twice in the show, but that's why the difference between John Kasich and those two other guys running for president is so stark. To Kasich's enormous credit in this atmosphere of the Republican Party, fear is not part of his campaign. Mm -hmm. That is not. Just being a bad, uh, 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 just being wrong on every issue. Is it, that's <laughs> it. But, but that's so much better than others are coming to get you. 
Yes. Right. Which is what Trump and Cruz have solely they right. staked their claim to. But by the way, and the reason why Kasich is not winning, right, it's because and he has Trump yes. and Cruz yeah. are winning, yes. because the defining trait of a conservative is fear. I, fear of change. That's why they're conservative. I don't want anything to change. Right. Oh, I love tradition and authority and, and the way things were. That's why Fox News, if you turn it on, looks like it's 1955. All their anchors even brush their hair in a way that looks like they're from 1955. They want you to like go back into that zone. Oh, remember when everybody said Christmas and we were in charge and we told black people what to do and you know and all that stuff. And they take you in a hot tub time machine. And and that's because conservatives defining trait is fear.